welcome to Grandad's Reviews. Today we're going to do a double unboxing. So I've got the Samyang 21mm T1.5 Cine lens and the Samyang 85mm T1.5 Cine lens. This is the 85mm. Let's see if it's the same quality. And we've got some instructions. More foam. Ooh. This one you do get a carry bag. Quite nice. Probably won't use it. <laughs> and the lens. Some kind of painted lens hood. Quite a good thick. Plastic won't uh, break easily, but I say these do wear and get loose eventually. Ooh, massive piece of glass. That's what you call a piece of glass. Again, declipped aperture. Metal mount. Not as damped as the 21. It's a bit, a bit smoother. Again, markings on both sides of the lens. Focus. Yeah, that feels about as damped. But that's definitely looser. Nice. Got a good bit of weight to it as well. Nicely finished. Yeah, very good quality. So we'll take that out for a spin and see what the results we get from that for video and stills. The next thing, we'll test them. All right, so here we are uh, testing the uh, Samyang 85mm 1.5. Uh, we're at this uh, lovely location here. We'll do a bit of filming and some stills. And then we'll uh, see what the results are. Yeah. At the moment I've got to set up with the uh, Real world 5 inch monitor uh, on the X-T3 and uh, we'll walk up and down and do some filming and see what we can get and I'll tell you as we go along I'm shooting in the turner One in the distance, just over there. Trying with this focus peaking. So with the peaking on, it certainly does help with the focusing, being a, an all manual focus lens. So peaking does help. Thank you. 
I'll try some more stills. Nice duck here, we'll see if we can get the duck. One's heading for us. That was my quick look at the Samyang 85mm 1.5 cine lens um, we set up here with a follow focus and a little rig on the X-T3 I found it very easy to use a little bit challenging focusing at 1.5 but the peaking on the X-T3 did help a lot with that um, and the stills came out very very well. I found a little bit of purple fringing in high contrast areas but nothing to worry about, easily fixed in post. So yeah, I found it was an excellent lens now. I think it's great value for money, just under £300. Uh, I don't think you could buy, get a better buy. Uh, so yes, I do recommend it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you see more videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, hit that bell button. Until next time, see you later.